without any further ado, let's bring up um, Eric Sosa. He asked me to do this probably about a year and a half ago, and, and uh, I, I really wanted to do it. I love coming out and talking to high school students because about six years ago, I was in your spot. Eric's here today under the assumption that he was just going to speak to you guys. And that's what he's done so far. But we've got a gentleman here that would like to tell you a little bit more of why Eric is here today. So we get a round of applause, applause excuse me, for all state agency order of Ralph Pena. He's got a few things he'd like to say. Good afternoon, and thank you, Brian. As Brian said, my name is Ralph Pena. I'm an all state agency owner right here in San Antonio. And the special reason that we're all here today gathered uh, to listen to Eric give you some very sound and important advice uh, he's, a, he's a fine man on and off the field, as Brian attested to. But the real reason I'm here, I will want to spell out for you. You know, during the, Eric's time at the University of Texas at San Antonio, Eric has spent countless hours making the San Antonio community a better place. From building homes through the Wounded Warrior Project, to inspiring young athletes like yourselves to follow your dreams while pursuing your education. Eric embodies what it means to give back to others. On a personal note, his dad, Chris, defeated my high school back in 1979. So I know he comes from good genes and a fine family man. There's so much that I could share with you about this personally. Um, what a fine example of what it means to be a, a full student athlete, realizing being a student first. Now, I don't know how he failed to only get a B in one class, but this young man, a 3.95, I, I think uh, that's just an amazing number. Uh, and now on behalf of Allstate and the American Football Coaches Association, I am honored to stand here today, along with representatives from the University of Texas at San Antonio, Stevens High School, to present Eric Souza, quarterback of the UTSA Roadrunners, with his trophy in honor of his selection to the 2013 Allstate AFCA Good Works Team. Birds up and congratulations. Uh, thank you very much. Um, you know, as athletes and just as a person, you don't you don't do it for the trophies, you know. You just do it because it's the right thing to do. And uh, I'm talking about community service. So if you ever get opportunity to to go help, maybe the nursing home or uh, go to the pediatric hospital and to just spend some time over at those uh, those entities, then it, it'll really affect you more than it'll affect the people that you're helping. And uh, I, I encourage all of y'all to get involved in your community. Okay, it's, it's not only great to be a great athlete, a great student, but also be a great person inside the school and outside the school. So, um, I mean, thank you again, and thank y'all for everything. Talk all you want. Thank you. Yeah.
he does uh, he does get it and uh, you know he's come from a great family and I tell you just uh, uh, it's just uh, it's been such a thrill to have him on our in our program where we are to have, have him get this award is just uh, just a tremendous honor for the, from starting our program well, a lot of people don't really realize that, but I think it's, I think it's a big part of being a college athlete because you know some of these guys don't realize they're kind of some heroes in a lot of eyes of young people and, and uh, set examples. And you know, people will see Eric and they say, you know what, I want to do that, and uh, not just as a player, but just the way he is as a person. Yeah, um, it was just I was supposed to talk to Stevens High School, you know, but uh, I'm, I'm surprised Brian kept it a secret. You know, he, he's not very good at keeping secrets, but uh, it was a great surprise. Um, Pretty cool, pretty cool uh, introduction, or just everything, pretty much. Uh, it's it, it means a lot. It's there's there's all those um, athletic accolades you can get, academic accolades, but things that that focus on on the athletic or at, on the academic and, and community service. That that stuff's the some of the most important things that that I was raised up with with my family, and and it, it's important to give back to the community. It's um. I mean, just being a player right now, the, the pedestal, the power of the jersey, and um, I, had, I had five years pretty much to, to make an influence on, a positive influence on on uh, kids' lives. And uh, once that, the, the jersey's off, then that power kind of kind of fades away a little bit. So um, I'm, I'm on the track to be a coach, and, and I, w- I want to be around the sport, and I want to be around athletes that share the same passion as I do. It's it's a stepping stone, you know. It, it it's it's still, I mean, there's still a lot more out there to do. And uh, uh, but I'm very uh, I'm very honored to be be named to this team, and uh, it, it's it, it's very special. It, it means a lot, and like I said, it, we don't do it for the for the accolades and and for the awards. We do it because it's the right thing to do.